Greetings, my scattered sisters and brothers in the Lord. Trust you know the Lord is with you wherever you find yourself scattered today, and that you know that his presence is more than enough for whatever you might face today. We are going to take a look at Psalm number 82 today. Psalm number 82. Really, it's a pretty interesting psalm. So Psalm 82. God presides in the great assembly. He gives judgment among the gods. How long will you defend the unjust and show partiality to the wicked? Defend the weak and the fatherless. Uphold the cause of the poor and the oppressed. Rescue the weak and the needy. Deliver them from the hand of the wicked. The gods know nothing. They understand nothing. They walk about in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are shaken. I said, you are gods. You are all sons of the Most High. But you will die like mere mortals. You will fall like every other ruler. Rise up, O God. Judge the earth. For all the nations are your inheritance. Pretty interesting, and we need to stop and think about who are these gods that the psalmist was, is referring to. God presides in the great assembly. He gives judgment among the gods. Who are these gods? Well, the best understanding that I know of is that these gods are not gods. They're not angels. They're not uh, heavenly beings. They are powerful, earthly, human rulers. These are the gods that are being referred to in Psalm number 82. They have incredible power over the face of the earth as uh, controlling, exercising dominion over the lives of others. And so maybe they are emperors, maybe they are kings, maybe they are presidents, senators, congresspersons, um, people with incredible power and their power impacts determines kind of the, the life, the life situation of others. And I don't know that this psalm would have ever actually been, you know, said in the face of the king of Persia, but I'm sure that it was often prayed in the temple in Jerusalem while they were under the rule of the king of Persia in the second temple period and just kind of reminding themselves that God is the one who judges all people. God is the one who holds kings and rulers accountable and that the purpose of a king, of a ruler, an emperor, is to bring justice on the earth and to defend the cause of the poor, the widow, the fatherless. And so listen to it again, and I'll kind of talk my way through it. God presides in the great assembly. He gives judgment among the gods, among all of these powerful earthly rulers. And here's God's question. How long will you gods defend the unjust and show partiality to the wicked? You should be defending the weak and the fatherless. Uphold the cause of the poor and the oppressed. Rescue the weak and the needy. Deliver them from the hand of the wicked. See, that becomes the standard of how well somebody is exercising their God-given power to rule. Are they defending the weak and the fatherless? Are they upholding the cause of the poor and the oppressed? Are they rescuing the weak and the needy? Are they delivering them from the hand of the wicked? That's the standard. That's what the rulers will be held accountable for. And now listen to verse 5. It's kind of tragic. The gods, the rulers, they know nothing. They understand nothing. They walk about in darkness, and all the foundations of the earth are shaken. It's like when political rulers are clueless, and they're not defending the cause of the weak and upholding uh, the poor and the, the fatherless and the widow, they're just clueless, walking around in darkness, and the foundations of the earth are shaken. There's no stability. So we go on to verse 6. And I think this is the Lord speaking. I said, you are gods. I gave you the authority. All of your authority came from me. I'm the one who said you are gods. You are all sons of the Most High. I've given you authority to rule and to rule with justice. But here's the deal. You will die like mere mortals you will fall like every other ruler. So don't let your power, your position go to your head. And then here's the prayer. 
Rise up, O God, judge the earth, for all the nations are your inheritance. And maybe that needs to be our prayer right now. You know, with all the different things going on, rise up, O God, judge the earth, for all the nations are your inheritance. Well, interesting psalm to think about, especially in our times today. Uh, but I'm sure it was just as entering, if not more so, even in their times, uh, under all the different emperors that they face. But rise up, O God, judge the earth, the nations are your inheritance. Well, God bless. Have a great day. And uh, live in that truth that the nations really are God's inheritance. And God will hold every ruler accountable for how well they have exercised their power on behalf of the powerless. God bless.